Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today I want to talk about some of these assault weapons bans that have been popping up around the country and the legal challenges to them. A lot of people seem to be very confused about what's going on, what's the law now, what isn't the law, what is the future of these laws, etc. Or eggs, etc. as I like to say. So today I want to talk about it. As you know, a lot of states, Illinois, Washington, etc., have been passing these assault weapons bans. And I should put quotations around that because they are not bans on assault weapons. Uh, most people can't legally obtain assault weapons, which are select fire rifles. They are bans on semi-automatic rifles, and they are only a step towards banning all semi-automatic firearms, period. And they are clearly unconstitutional. Based on Heller and Bruin, they don't have a leg to stand on legally, but these are the death throes of the anti-gun movement because after Bruin, they had the, the legs kicked out from under them, and now they're trying to do something to appeal to their brainwashed masses that they have convinced that somehow guns are the problem, that if we didn't have guns, bad things wouldn't happen. They're trying to appeal to those people. They're trying to consolidate political power, etc. So they're passing these laws. But a lot of people are like, well, do we just have to sit back and take it? Why aren't we doing something about it? Well, something is being done about it in multiple states, California, Illinois, now in Washington. There are cases working their way through the system. In fact, most of these laws have had stays issued against them, meaning they can't be enforced until they are settled for good in the courts because they are likely unconstitutional and are not going to stand. That's why the stays have been being issued. In the state of Washington right now, all the cases are filed. Uh, judges have been assigned. Court dates are being assigned. We are ready to start the fight. And injunctions will be sought. You know, stays will be sought so that people aren't damaged by these unconstitutional laws until they can be declared unconstitutional. And uh, one place that is a good example to look at what's going on right now is Illinois. Or Illinois as I like to say. If you go there and look at what's going on there, there is now a stay issued statewide against the assault weapons ban that was passed. It cannot be enforced. It is not the law of the land until it's been settled in court. And the reason that there's been a stay issued against it is because, like I said, it is likely unconstitutional and all it would do is harm people between the time it was implemented and the time it was struck down, this unconstitutional law. That's why these stays are being issued. And remember, that's one of the main points of these laws. They're trying to bankrupt uh, distributors, manufacturers, retailers, because they know in the end these laws will be struck down. But if they can take down the industry in the meantime, you know, because they can't sell products, that that will be a huge win for the anti-gun movement or the anti-freedom movement in this country. So that's their real goal. So these stays are preventing that from happening. And in many ways, they're actually... Uh, fostering the uh, gun community and the gun industry because they're providing them giant coffers of money to sit on until things get settled because of the rush on buying guns. But that's a different topic whatsoever. But like I said, in the state of Illinois, a stay was issued. Now, one judge did refuse to issue a stay in one of the cases. And here's how out of touch some of these left-wing loony judges are. She stated that, oh, this law is constitutional because there's a history of doing things like this to protect public safety. Well, the Supreme Court just said that's not a reason to uphold these laws anymore. This woman can't freaking read or just doesn't care what the law is. She cares about her own personal opinion, which is the worst thing a judge can be, in my opinion, just someone who cares about their own beliefs over the law. So she clearly put her own beliefs over the law in direct violation of Bruin, where it said public safety is no longer a valid concern when judging gun laws. But she said, oh, it's constitutional because we have a history of doing things like this for public safety. That's how out of touch she is. This, I want to use the C word, uh, you know, uh, uh, Carol, I guess, is the C word. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, but another judge in another case, because there's multiple cases in every state, said, yes, this 
uh, is very likely unconstitutional under Bruin and will not stand, so they issued a stay in Illinois. Now, also in Illinois, there's been another step. Uh, Amy Coney Barrett has stepped in and said, hey, you have until May 8th, this is uh, her responding to a lawsuit in Illinois, saying this county or whatever it is that uh, passed this law has until the 8th to respond to why the Supreme Court shouldn't step in and issue a statewide stay on all these things, in all these cases. And they just said they have till the 8th to comply with that order. And that pretty much indicates that the Supreme Court is like, hey, you don't want to listen to us? You want to openly defy us? Well, we'll step in. And we're giving you till the 8th to tell us why we shouldn't. In other words, we're going to. Uh, so that's a huge step right there in Illinois. The Supreme Court is already getting involved, even though it hasn't worked its way up to the Supreme Court yet. They have basically said, hey, you're stepping on our toes intentionally. You're intentionally being defiant. So we're going to step in and show you who's boss, basically. Uh, and you got to remember, these cases, even though they're separate, they're kind of tied together. Uh, like in Washington, we have the uh, assault weapons ban. If it doesn't even make it to court yet, and the Supreme Court steps in and says, hey, assault weapons bans and laws like them are unconstitutional, well, ours would be gone right away. It doesn't have to go all the way through. Same thing with the California laws. And we're still waiting on Benitez in California to do a ruling at any time, but unfortunately, they decide to slow him up by making personal attacks on him, trying to chase him off the bench over doing things all judges do. So uh, that slowed him up a little bit. But like I said, there's already things in motion. These are already being taken care of. They're already having stays issued against them. They've already got the interest of the Supreme Court uh, ready to step in on some of them. And all the other ones like Washington, etc., are already in the process of getting started. We just have to be patient. You know, give it a little bit of time. These things will fall. In the meantime, make sure to support your local gun manufacturer. Make sure to support your local uh, uh, gun retailer. Go buy ammo. Go buy other things. Slings, whatever. Safes. And I mean slings like rifle slings, not like, you know, hanging from ceiling in your basement slings. Uh, although they might sell those too. I don't know. I don't judge. But uh, like I said, support your local gun shops, support your local distributors, etc., as much as you can right now, because they do need it in this time. Like I said, they luckily have been given a little bit of a cushion, but legal wheels are slow to turn. So, but they are in process. So don't get downtrodden feeling like, oh my God, they're doing these things and there's just nothing we can do about it. We are doing stuff about it and we're winning almost every time. They are losing. They are an animal backed into a corner that is just doing whatever they can do. They're throwing everything against the wall, things that they themselves know is not going to work just so they can say they're doing something. So don't take this as a sign that they're winning because they're passing these things. No, it's a sign that they're dying. They're panicking. They're doing things they know won't work out in the long run because they have no other options. All we have to do is do the right thing, not panic. Don't do anything that gives them more ammunition, so to speak. Be responsible, do things the right way, and we will win. So don't feel like victims. We are not victims. We are the victors here. We are winning consistently on this. We have the backing of the Supreme Court. We have the backing of the Constitution. We have the backing of law in general. So the assault weapons ban, they may seem like something that is like, oh, a huge tide turning against the gun community. They're anything but. They are a weak, last-ditch effort by a lot of these anti-gunners. It is failing in court. It is failing even quicker than I anticipated. So like I said, don't feel bad. We are not losing. We are definitely winning. We just have to be patient. Hey everybody, one more thing here before we go. If you personally want to get involved in the fight against one of these draconian anti-freedom anti-gun, unconstitutional laws like the assault weapons ban in the state of Washington, you can go over to the Washington Civil Rights Association page and you can see if there's any way you can help. They need voices. They need social media people. They need everything they can get to help in this fight. So go on over to the Washington Civil Rights Association page. There's a link in the upper corner of this video and see if there's some way you can help personally.
Hey everybody, Yankee here. Just want to remind everyone, if you want to support this channel and the programs that we sponsor, or you just want some official Yankee Marshall Posse merchandise, you can go over to tympistolproject.com and there is a wide selection of merchandise over there. Pick yourself out something, buy yourself something nice. Anytime you buy a t-shirt, you get two entries into this month's friend drawing. You buy any other item, you get one entry into this month's friend drawing and all profits go to the Pets and Vets Fund that we support. So go on over, get yourself some merch, help save an animal in need, and maybe win a prize. Hey everyone, Yankee here. You know, in my videos, we often cover some complicated subjects. Subjects with a lot of gray area. So if you would like to further discuss anything said in my videos, please join us in one of my live chats. Live chats are held most days at 6 p.m. Pacific time, except for Monday and Wednesday when they are at 5 p.m. Pacific. There is a clickable link to the live chats in the upper right-hand corner of this video. If you disagree with anything I've said in a video, feel free to participate in Spank the Yank. You can come on the live discussion panel and let me know face-to-face -face how I was wrong.